In this video, we will practice animation for Autodesk Inventor. We will practice a wheel on a track. So let us open Inventor. And first we will make some parts. So in this case, we will make a wheel and a track. We will sketch a circle first, circle of diameter 100 millimeter. So we'll make the thickness of this wheel as 20 mm. Now we will also make holes in the wheel. After making one hole, we will use the circular pattern to create many holes. So let us save this wheel. Now open a new sketch and now we will make a track which will be a rectangular slab. This rectangular slab or board is 200 millimeter in length and 50 millimeter in width. We can give thickness to this slab by using extrude command. So we can give some thickness. So now this uh, board, rectangular board is ready and we will save this. Now we should go to assembly. And let us bring those parts, the circular wheel and the rectangular board. So we should, we should use the place command and bring these parts. So now you can see that these parts can move about easily. So they are free to move in all directions. So basically they have six degrees of freedoms for each. So they can move in linear as well as in rotation. So now we will ground the board or the track because this is going to be the track so it is fixed. So we have grounded this so the board cannot move but the wheel is still free. So now let's use the constraint command and use the flush. So we'll flush the surface of the wheel with the surface of the board with some offset. So now the wheel can move about and it has been constrained. So the two surfaces are flushed together. That means they are parallel to each other, but there is an offset, offset of 50 millimeter. Now we will fix the distance of the axis of the wheel and the top surface of the track. 
and this distance should be fixed as the radius of the wheel so in this case it is 50 millimeter so we have fixed as 50 millimeter so now the wheel can rotate or slide on this track Next, we will use the angle command and we will set the angle between the wheel rotation and the, the board surface. So in the constraint command, there is an option of angle. So we will use the planes XZ in the wheel and XY in the board and we have set the angle between these two planes at zero. So now there is no rotation for the wheel. So wheel is constrained for the rotation. Now we will bring the wheel to the edge of the board. This we can do by using the mate command between the wheel axis and the end surface of the board. Now we can use the measure command to know the dimensions, dimensions of the, the wheel and also of the board. So the, the circumference of the wheel is 314.15 millimeter and the length of the board is 200 millimeter. So let us calculate how many rotations of the wheel can it complete for going from one edge of the board to the, the end of the board. So ratio of linear lengths are 200 divided by 314.15 so this is 0 0.63 so we should multiply the angle 360 by 0 0.63 to obtain the angle by which the wheel has to be rotated or the wheel will rotate this is 229.19 so this is the degree by which the wheel will rotate to go from one end of the board to the other end now click environments tab and go to inventor studio Once it opens, we will see that there are many options here. So we will use the constraint command in this case. So click the constraint and then say OK. So two windows will come. One animate constraints and another is for timeline. Now expand the, the tab on the left side and select angle. Here we will set the end time as 10 seconds and the end degree as 229.19. Now when we move the timeline bar we can see that the, the wheel is actually rotating. Again go back to the animate constraints. Now set the end time as 10 seconds. And go to mate 2 and set the end point as minus 200 millimeter.
So now from the timeline bar we can see that as we move frame by frame the wheel is actually rotating. Rotating in the forward direction as well as in the backward direction. Now we are ready to render this video. So go to render animation. And set the values. So time range is 10 seconds. So this video is for 10 seconds. And the frame rate should be 30. So now we should give a name to this file, the video file that will be created. Now once we say OK, then the rendering has started. So this video is being recorded and saved. Rendering is now complete. We can exit these windows. And we can find uh, the file, which will be the video file. So this is the video file. Now the animation is ready. So the wheel is rotating on the track. So in this video we have shown you how to do the animation of a wheel on a track. If you have any comments please write them down. Thank you very much.